Hello, hello, dear Scorpio, and welcome to the extended reading for the year of 2023. Amazing messages have come through uh, with your reading. And let's go and see. I'd like to take a couple more tarot cards, which I just put down here. I haven't even shuffled them. So I'd usually do the extended straight after the, uh, the original video. What I'm uh, wanting to see is what are you juggling about in January? What is it that you are trying to decide on whether to communicate, whether to be truthful, whether there's trickery or distrust maybe between a partnership or a love connection. The magician is Gemini Virgo. So these could be in your chart, these energies, or uh, you could be dealing with a Gemini or a Virgo. The magician, remember, it's like the stars align where you're needing to make an important decision here based on these matters. Remember that the magician is very powerful and you need to keep an open mind. Maybe you are dealing with someone that's very uh, inclined towards mysticism. The magician can pull uh, a rabbit out of a hat. So maybe you're dealing with someone that's quite different. Let's look at that seven of pentacles. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I did say it's the Capricorn energy and here is the devil. There's great attraction here. This is very sexual indeed. It's like you're on fire here. But there are blockages with the devil. There are fears. Fear is holding you back. It's like... Maybe there's a lot that is dark and unknown between you and this relationship. The devil does speak to, again, responsibility. The emperor is very much, very similar to the devil. Uh, we could be talking about control. We could be talking about responsibility. Uh, working too hard, not being able to do anything really. And remember that the wheel of fortune comes after the hermit. So there's lots of changes. You're in your cave. You're in your cave and you're studying something here. Now the devil can speak to vices, it can speak to taboos, it can speak to drinking too much, eating too much, anything that you are doing too much of, too much work, too much desire and passion and a fearing, uh, showing that, you're, again, I'm going to say it's as though you're it's, it's like a sign of weakness. The devil, remember, is Capricorn. Capricorn holds a position of power. Now, again, it can speak to career, though. We'll see. I want to see what this Ten of Wands is all about. We do have an Earth sign here. We've got a Queen of Pentacles. So it could be a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Some of you could be mothers, fathers. Obviously, there's a lot to do with family. Queen of Pentacles is someone that everyone goes to. They depend on her. She provides for all of them. So again, this speaks to responsibility. And I'm going to say that the Queen of Pentacles is the minor arcana of the Empress. We do have the Emperor here. Queen of Pentacles is a mother. Now, I don't know if... I don't think that this is your mother because you're showing up as the emperor. That's the, the energy you've got in this year. So the Queen of Pentacles could be someone that holds a position of power. She is the most experienced queen of the lot. Someone very hardworking. And she's holding the Ace of Pentacles. It's like... This is what's on offer here. And this could be a burden for you. I don't know if it's money burdens. Uh, remember, you've got the Ace of Pentacles here as well, which is um, 
you're flirting with an ace of pentacles and this is you thinking something long term i don't know if you've sacrificed so much because of uh family uh motherhood anything like that let's take the i want to see what this opportunity is the two of wands in the month of november obviously it's your birthday here it's your solar return so we see the three of wands which you've got here the, the path opens you've got the two and the three of wands for this meeting or for your ships to come in remember what the eight of water was talking about and it looks very much this could be a second meeting a second meeting with someone where now you are trusting because the romance angel says it is safe for you it is safe for you to love o open your heart whereas here you needed to trust and some of you maybe did trust and you got trodden on you got deceived from someone in your family it could be a past partner could also possibly be a mother for some of you not all of you could be a mother or a father a parent nevertheless what's at the bottom of the deck we've got the king of swords so you're going to be doing a lot of clearing you'll be talking a lot about what is true for you and you could be dealing with legalities king of swords could be someone important in your life i want to go now to the um fortune telling cards i want to see the first quarter what is what's going on here so we've got a lot of passion, a lot of desire. Three major arcana in the first quarter. Very powerful energies. Remember the devil does speak to karma as well. Very karmic connection. So I don't know if you are in between someone that you connect with, someone that you've waited for. And someone that you ha are obligated to be with, which could be the devil. This is your responsibility. Some of you may be married to, to work. False person. So there is something to do with trickery or distrust here. And this is hard work for you. Uh, you prefer, instead of going and looking sort of, dealing with someone deceptive you uh, maybe you think about this and there's a lot of confusion and illusion uh so as you're working uh there's a lot that you're thinking about things in pieces of the puzzle that could be missing this could also be a deception possibly with a work partner as well but we've got great fortune here so what it says is where there's no clarity it will be your luck will change when you put in the effort to clear the air whatever you're working on nevertheless you've got the six of wands here so where career is concerned there's great success and great fortune and you've got the will of fortune here so your work pays off whatever you're putting the effort into here let's look at the second quarter april may june poverty Change doesn't come easily for you, does it? The thief. Wow. The thief sits on the moon. Someone's taken from you. Someone is taking from you. Something is costing you a lot. Financially, emotionally here. It could be a home. It could be a business. It could be a partnership. Now, like, logically, the house is a lucky card but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's your home it could be um, a business it could be anything to do with the law uh, paperwork um, obligations it could be where you work the building where you work i will take uh, some sabilas on that house I, I need or in this area i need more more information there's something that you've been paying money towards or investing towards and uh, something is costing you maybe more than what you expected we'll see what is the th third quarter about 
We've got the main male. We've got the mature woman. And we've got the community. We've got a mature woman and she's very close to the Queen of Pentacles. So you could be dealing, if you are the main male, uh, well, you could be the mature woman. Uh, whoever you are thinking about, uh, they're here nevertheless. But we've got uh, uh, the Divine Feminine is a bit more mature maybe, age-wise, than the male. Community does speak to someone supportive. Queen of Pentacles, mature woman, could be someone that's very supportive of you. It's, it's like he like you're trying to hold back on something to do with the community you're not wanting your community people around you to know about i mean the community sits on the ten of wands or the queen of pentacles is someone that deals with the community and she carries a heavy load Let's look at the last quarter. We have sudden wealth, 777. This is like striking it lucky around your birthday, your solar return. We've got despair. I'm not reading reversals here, so bad health. Okay, remember how I was saying that uh, you're sort of stuck on the details? Time to go, you're looking at the little details. It's like not believing that, like there's disbelief here that the, the opportunities are here for you. That's what I feel is going on here. Or with this portal opening up for you, someone else is in despair and psychologically unhappy. I want to take one more card on their despair and bad health. And we've got unexpected income. So this is something unexpected. Someone gets caught by surprise here. Someone doesn't like what's going on here. I don't think it's you. Unexpected income could also be an actual person coming in. Remember the Ace of Pentacles that I spoke of? Queen of Pentacles holds it here. The Ace of Pentacles is here. And this reminds me of this unexpected opportunity. Or just when you think that something that was going to pay up really well, there could be a few blockages here and you're fearing the worst, but then unexpected income, you, I mean, save by the day. You know what I mean? Last minute, something changes. What is that house about? Show me more information on the house, please. And we've got the lovers. So it's probably a marriage. And there's been secrecy and you've been dealing with a thief. Someone in your family uh, feels as though they've lost. I mean, poverty means a lack of finances, but also emotionally not feeling happy. Because we've got a thief here and the thief only takes this trickery here. Or choosing the person that you're wanting to be with. will cost you financially but also emotionally because we've got the four of swords here there's been some trickery here or some miscommunication or something like that we it's you know the thief is sitting on the moon this could also be your subconscious fears that are coming through we do have the lovers here and it's interesting that the devil is a 15 and the lovers is a 15 so the will fake brings in the time the time is this year Scorpio, I think that it's a very important year for you. Let's take your emotional life, your emotional body. Where are you psychologically in, in love, emotionally, if not just love, right? How are you feeling? Remember that the Mystic Moon Oracle shows the darker side of our emotional situation it's more it's more based in reality 
separation oh wow oh wow that's why this is a difficult decision and you're at a crossroads and the decision is here in january february and march there will be opportunities though there will be opportunities which will lead you to great fortune the great fortune could be emotionally if not uh financially but i do see that there could be a windfall of riches here feeling quite rich or something that you've worked on maybe from the past the opportunities come to you this could be opportunities here to divorce to separate to take a trip whatever it is for you where are you in the second second quarter you're in contemplation and you're thinking about your money plus also there's that ace of pentacles again you're thinking either about an earth sign or something long term or your money it's like you're battling between your money and your love life your money and your family life let's look at the third quarter shall we we have understanding we have big dreams you will be seeing a lot of dreams there'll be a lot of messages coming through your dreams you are connecting uh, you're very intuitive in at this time there's also a lot of clarity on things that were very dreamy and very confusing you will be seeing truths uh, which can be very cutting for you with that five of swords here and the ten of wands let's see where you are emotionally in the last quarter Scorpio we have fall it is almost time the time for fall in the northern hemisphere we've got spring after fall we go straight to spring so maybe your life is blooming in the time of fall or from fall all the way up until spring a spring can speak to getting out there feeling happy i don't know if you're traveling to a place where it's spring instead of fall in the fall time let's take one more we've got a dark energy and a light energy you need to learn to work with both and we've got tribe we see support here we see support from family the elephants usually are very family orientated there's great protection great strength here and great abundance remember the uh the elephant's horns they are very valuable but there's people above you uh, people that are like i don't know if this is your ancestors supporting you or it's just older people that are around you wise people and i don't usually get this message for this card so that's interesting there is a lot of support here and pride and ego this card has shown up for quite a few uh signs and it's um, the card of being lucky it's very spiritual it's saying that do not be too prideful yes there is abundance there's uh luck prosperity there can be ego anger and fighting for the one that you love remember the male peacocks fight to death for their other half okay so yes it is very spiritual i do see pisces very strongly again uh because remember the feathers of the peacock the high priestess which is uh pisces it's pisces virgo energy this speaks to great abundance as well and pause you're needing to pause pause is like the hanging man your sacrifices pay off scorpio that's what i've got for you uh i did say that i was going to just take the sevillas what was it that i wanted to see before i end this reading the house that's right let's look at the house and the thief what's that about yes prigione being stuck obligations this is capricorn nine a lots of worry lots of worry lots of thoughts pertaining to contracts a home your obligations this is a pensiero 
The Vinciero is the Virgo energy. It's like the Hermit here. Also, yes, you're worrying about losing money here. It's the Six of Pentacles which shows up here. And if you're in a legal divorce, a difficult legal divorce, it's going to cost you, unfortunately. But then whatever comes through, whatever you pay will come back to you. I get with the uh, Omaggio de Preziosi. The precious gift is here to stop worrying and run with it. Go with whatever your heart desires. That will be the gift to you. Let's take one card I want to see on this separation. Yeah, there is a love triangle here. We've got it on the false person, so there is a third party here. We've got two, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. But it also speaks to, it's the Five of Cups, mourning your past. But it says, there will be merriment and happiness. Do not stop, do not focus on the past, but more towards the future. The opportunities are here for you to find your happiness. All right? All right. Dear Scorpio, love and light, thank you so much. Love to you. Ta-da.